Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we will be talking about the MCX Symmetric Active Active feature in the next generation VNX platform. Here is the agenda. We will start off with a brief overview of Symmetric Active Active, follow up with a short demo. Currently, all VNX arrays, including Clarion arrays running Flare Release 26 and later, support Asymmetric Active Active. With the release of the next generation VNX platform, and the introduction of MCX, we are now introducing Symmetric Active Active. This enables host access LUNs by using both VNX storage processors simultaneously. Symmetric Active Active is supported for Classic LUN, which is a LUN that is not bound from a pool. After a Classic LUN has been assigned to a host, PowerPath will now show both paths as Active Optimized in the Lua state. For Asymmetric Active Active, you should see active optimized for one path and active non optimized for another path. If a classic LUN leveraging symmetric active active starts using advanced data services, the LUN will switch back to asymmetric active active behavior. Symmetric active active is possible because MCX introduces a locking technology for the LUN read and write access. The SPs communicate to each other using a Stripe locking service with a communication manager interface, or also known as CMI. For example, an SP must request an exclusive lock for LBA region on a LUN prior to any write request. After permission is granted from the locking service, the SP proceeds with a write to the LUN. Now let's proceed to our demo. Let's first create some LUNs and assign them to our host. We will create a 50 gigabyte pool LUN named No Active Active. When prompted by the pop-up windows, hit yes and hit OK. Next, we are going to add our LUN to our storage group. Select the Windows Storage Group and populate to the list on the right. On the pop-up window, select yes and select OK. Next, we will need to create a classic LUN. Select the RAID Groups tab. Select the RAID Group, right-click, and create LUN. Next, we will create a 51 gigabyte LUN named Active Active. Select Yes and OK when prompted by the pop-up windows. Next, let's add our LUN to our storage group. Select the Windows Storage Group and populate to the list on the right. Select Yes and OK when prompted by the pop-up windows. Now, let's go to our host. You can see here that our classic LUN, which was 51 gigabytes, is listed as a D drive. The pool LUN, which was 50 gigabytes, is listed as the F drive. Let's run some I.O. to our D drive classic LUN and observe the symmetric active active behavior. Select the Access Specifications tab and add AK random write load to our drive. Hit the green flag to start the test. Save the results and proceed to open up PowerPath. You will now see under the Alua state column that both paths show active optimized. You will also see that under the IOs per second column, you are seeing IO down both paths. Let's stop the iometer workload and compare the behavior on a pool LUN. Click the Disk Targets tab. Select our F drive, which is our pool LUN, and hit the green flag. Click Save to save the results and go back to Power Path. You will now see in PowerPath that under the Alua State column, you have one path that shows active optimized and another path that shows active non optimized. You will also notice that only one path shows IO load. We can now clearly see the differences between the classic LUN symmetric active active behavior and the pool LUN asymmetric active active behavior. This concludes the demo. For additional resources on this feature, please refer to the EMC online support for the MCX white paper.